What you're looking at are synchrotrons. There are about 60 around the world. But what are synchrotrons? Synchrotrons are large machines like this one at Slack. Inside this building is a metal tube that serves as a circular racetrack for electrons. As the electrons spin around, they release energy in the form of X-ray light. Scientists direct the X-ray light into experimental rooms where they can use that light to produce images of the samples they're studying. Basically, they use the X-ray light to reveal information that's too small to see with other common scientific tools. Synchrotrons are like a powerful camera or microscope. Today, you can go to the hospital to get an X-ray of your bones. X-rays are similar to visible light, but just like infrareds or ultraviolets, we can't see them. At the hospital, the X-ray beam is just strong enough to go through your skin, but not your bones. And the camera captures the shadow of your bones. At a synchrotron, the X-ray light is a lot more intense. Using different techniques, the X-ray will scan a sample, and the light that bounces off will help us build an image or extract other information to interpret the research. So how do we use them? One of the most common applications of synchrotrons is in medical and pharmaceutical research. The powerful X-ray light allows for high resolution 3D imaging of proteins, like the coronavirus spike proteins, or structures like DNA and RNA. Using these structures, researchers are able to develop new molecules to interact with viruses to prevent diseases. Another application at SLAC is the study of batteries. Scientists use synchrotrons to visualize the chemical process inside a battery. They can look at how the repeated charge cycles affect the physical structure of the battery and how it reduces capacity over time. Little by little, they're able to identify manufacturing processes that will improve the efficiency of batteries. In another example, a group of paleontologists were able to retrieve the color pigments from the fossil of a three million year old mouse. By scanning the fossil with intense x-rays, the fossil will emit back x-rays with different characteristics. The study of these x-ray emissions allowed scientists to determine what type of metals were found in the fossil. And by identifying these metals, the team concluded that this three million year old mouse had reddish fur. This type of discovery could teach us a lot about evolution in distant times. In summary, synchrotrons can reveal secrets that the human eye or other common scientific tools wouldn't be able to see. So synchrotrons are really an important tool for scientists and that explains why there are so many in the world today. Because of all the different techniques used in these facilities and the vast array of applications, synchrotrons are like a Swiss army knife of science. So we invite you to visit our website to understand how electrons emit x-rays or learn more about some of the 2000 research experiments being conducted here at SLAC every year.